He is Evansville's watchful eye. The police scanner is his soundtrack, tweeting and posting the comings and goings of everyday life here in the Tri-State. But who really is the man behind the brand? For the first time, we match a name with a face in a place behind Evansville Watch. He lives life in 140 characters or less. His eyes darting across dimly lit screens. His fingers sweeping across broken in keyboards. It's a Twitter account that came to life. Now we see its founder brought to light. My name is Bill Merco and I am Evansville Watch. Day in, day out, he keeps vigil, watching, alerting, posting. Do you do that? I mean, do you sit home and listen to your <laughs> He's the man behind the brand. And he's a must follow in the social circle. More of just an information source is what I want to be. I don't want to be a news source. I, I'm not, you know, I don't follow up the whole story and I just report what I hear over the scanner. And I try to stress that to people that what I report is raw, it's not confirmed, and so many times when they get on scene, and it, it, it never what it sounds like it is. In the world of social media, clout is measured by the number of followers. At Twitter, it's up over 7,700 people now. Influence is measured by the number of fans. On Facebook, uh, over 15,000. His reach is global. <laughs> Others, not so much. In this day and age, getting information on the internet it's just so much comedy on her. is like taking a drink from a fire hydrant. There's incidents that go all day long, and just to get that information out there to the public, just to help their day go a little bit better. That's the main reason I do Evans a Watch. If I wouldn't be doing this, the scanner would be on in the background, and I would be listening to it. So, you know, why not take it next step and type it and send it out there? Somewhere along the way, he skipped a few steps. Launching Evansville Watch with zero followers in 2009, Merkel added a following of more than 20,000 people. Somewhere in his sea of tweets is the shoreline of where it began. I got involved in it. Mom and her scanner, she just loved them. It was just more of a hobby at first, but yeah, I've grown fond of it. And somebody says something about it, I get defensive, you know, you want to, it's like defending your child. For this father of three sons, the real world never signs off. I don't get out. Even when he does. I don't get out much anymore. <laughs> he is committed to this hobby like most people are to their normal jobs. Merkel being one of them. When life gets in the way, he has several silhouettes to post in his place. That's how I've met him is either email and then either talk to him on the phone or just, you know, talk back and forth on the computer. And as I said earlier, you know, a couple of them I haven't even met. Until now. Wait a minute. Very few knew him by name. Information. Even fewer knew him by face. I just want it to be positive. But for the Evansville Watch community, the internet provided the necessary introduction. We call ourselves the EW gang and a dysfunctional family, and it, it really does feel like you do know these people uh, personally. And in some cases, I guess you do, you know, it's just you've never met them. There isn't much in social media as constant as the hum and hiss of a scanner. Not much is as predictable as the human condition. We've stumbled and fumbled along the way and argued and I've done some stupid things and deleted some comments I shouldn't have when it's somebody's personal opinion. Anytime we get to arguing about something or sharing our viewpoints, uh, we come back to that dysfunctional family at the end and just one big hug. You know? <laughs> A family is still a family, even if its members haven't met. A Twitter account is still a Twitter account, even if its founder is a silhouette. And life is still life, even if it comes in 140 characters or less. It really makes me feel wanted, and everybody wants to feel wanted. We all do. As far as making money off of Evansville Watch, Merkel says it's something he's thought about, but it's not something he's convinced he wants to do. He wants to keep things just how they are as a community resource. Jordan Vandenberg, Eyewitness News.